This man, Dr. Arne Egebrecht, director of a West German museum, has no doubt at all that there is at least one astonishing example of ancient technology which is 2,000 years ahead of its time. He found it in an exhibition of treasures from ancient Iraq, a pottery jar, a copper cylinder, and an iron rod discovered in Baghdad. He believes they are components of an electric battery, made 2,000 years before batteries were invented in the West. I decided to check it, and for that purpose, we got made a replica. Here you see the replica, the Baghdad battery. You see here a ceramic, a ceramic pot. You see a copper cylinder, and you see the iron rod here. All replicas. Now I have here a voltmeter. And this voltmeter shows on the scale a distance from zero, a quarter of a volt, to half a volt here, which we should reach by this battery. For that purpose, I combine now the voltmeter and the battery with these wires. Now, one wire is fixed to the rod, the other one is fixed to the copper cylinder. To get it to work, we need only some acid. And for that purpose, a bunch of grapes should help us and should do it. Here I have the grapes and here a glass. And in this, I'm putting now some of the grapes. And with a wooden stick, I am pressing the juice out of it. I hope I get enough so that we see on the scale how the voltmeter is working. The grape acid battery delivers almost half a volt. Could it have been used for gilding ancient treasure? To show you that this can be done with this battery, I prepared an experiment. The technique may have been to immerse a small silver statuette in a gold cyanide solution and electroplate it. The implications for museum directors are chilling. Treasures they always assumed to be solid gold may merely have been gilded. And indeed, in a matter of minutes, the bottom half of this silver statuette acquires the sheen of gold. This experiment shows that it is possible to do it and that also in ancient times it might have been possible to have these batteries used for such uh, gold plating processes.